this wallpaper right here, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I made that on the iPad using Adobe Illustrator. So without further ado, let's get into it. So what I like to do for most of my illustrations is start with some type of sketch. Sometimes it's a sketchbook, sometimes I use Procreate. Either way, I think it's good to start with some type of sketch. So that's what I'm doing right here. I'm just in Procreate and I know I want to do some type of leaves with vines, just some kind of abstract collage. So I'm just going to draw that out, sketch it out exactly how I think it's going to look coming from my head onto something physical like the iPad. Seriously, when you're on this part, don't stress it. It looks it looks terrible, honestly, but it, it's a pre-sketch. doesn't matter. All right, I got it looking how I want it. So now I'm going to take the illustration and I'm going to throw it into Adobe Illustrator, lower that opacity, and I'm going to start outlining with clean vector lines. See, right here is exactly why I told you it doesn't matter how that sketch looks, because when I take it into Adobe Illustrator, I use these clean lines, and it's just going to make it look better anyways, so don't stress. Can add a quick background in here. All right, everything's placed where it needs to be. It's outlined. So now I can come back through and start adding some more of my details, like some lines, and then I'm gonna add some highlights, some shadows, and that's where the piece is gonna start looking really dope. There's a hundred different ways you can do shadows and highlights. I like to take the lazy way because that's just me. But I like to do dark shapes and then lower that opacity or maybe put it on overlay or with my highlights, I'll do the same thing with white shapes and then I'll put the opacity down or I'll put it on multiply or screen, you know, a bunch of different layer styles. But that's how I like to do my highlights and shadows. And if you like my style, maybe you like to do them too. If you guys are enjoying this content, let me know what your favorite part is in the comments below. All right, so the details are cool. I wanna add more depth to the piece. So I'm gonna duplicate this layer and throw it to the background, rotate it. And now it looks like there's double the amount of vines and leaves, which just gives it a cool effect. Now I like the overall look of this, but I wanna add a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna come back through and I'm gonna start adding some of these dots. Uh, these just give it a little bit more character, a little bit more texture. I think they look cool, so I'm going to add some more of them. Alright, I like how this piece is looking. What I want to do is I want to try out Adobe's new generative recolor feature in Adobe Illustrator on desktop. So that's what I'm going to do. I export my piece into the desktop version and now I'm just going to play with the different color palettes that will automatically recolor this piece using AI. I think this feature is super cool and it's definitely going to help my workflow. Guys, these turned out so sick. I'm so stoked on all these different color variations. What do you think? Let me know your favorite part in the comments below. All right, you guys just watched me put this together and I think they turned out so sick. I mean, look at all these different color options. I'm pumped on it, honestly. If you guys wanna use this as your iPhone wallpaper, feel free to do so. I have the link in the description below. If you guys have any questions or comments about how this process went, make sure to leave them for me. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Until the next one, guys, peace.